Hi dear cricket fans, welcome to Cricket Happenings for the final time today. And well, I'm going to preview the mouth-watering clash tomorrow at the Rangiri International, uh, uh, Dambulla International Stadium in Sri Lanka, where India and Pakistan, the crunch clash in the Asia Cup 2010 is going to happen. And well, the millions of cricket fans all over the world will be looking forward to this. Absolutely. Well, uh, I can't wait to see it actually tomorrow because it's quite a long time since India and Pakistan, the traditional rivals India and Pakistan are going to clash. And you know, Shoaib Akhtar is back. He's bowling at full pace. And you know, Shoaib Akhtar's pace goes a, a yard more when he actually bowls against the Indians. And well, the Indians should also be looking forward to this. For sure, Virinder Sehwag is the one who everyone would be looking forward to because the battle is going to be between Virinder Sehwag and Shoaib Akhtar tomorrow. Well, India definitely, uh, I can't say anything yet. I, I, I heard that uh, Ashish Nehra uh, is a doubtful starter and Ashok Dinda might take his place. But that is not good news for India because Ashok Dinda is inexperienced. Even though he did well in Zimbabwe, I thought he's very inexperienced and he might find it very tough uh, to actually uh, tackle the likes of the Pakistani batsman. But well, one has to wait and see. Well, as far as the batting, let's go into this and see what exactly is in store tomorrow at the Asia Cup 2010 match between India and Pakistan. Well, India, Virendra Sehwag and Gautam Gambhir will be opening the innings. So that is some uh, a very good consistent pair. And well, Virendra Sehwag and Gambhir. Gambhir is also a very aggressive batsman. He'd like to give it back to the um, uh, to the bowlers. And well, this Gautam Gambhir would be the pair that Pakistan would be really looking to dismiss. They would like to give taste early blood tomorrow. Shoy Bakhtar in particular would like to taste early blood with the wickets of Virendra Sehwag and Gautam Gambhir and Indian batsmen are going to see to it that they don't fall victims to Shoy Bakhtar tomorrow. Well, they do have another, bat another baller to watch here would be Mohamed Amar from Pakistan. Mohamed Amar has not bowled much to the Indians. So Indians are going to find him a surprise packet tomorrow because he, he might have played in the 2020 World Cup. But, well, uh, Mohamed Amar is something which could be a surprise packet tomorrow for the Indians because Indians have not faced Mohamed Amar um, uh, many a time here. So that is going to be very interesting. The other thing, Indian batting is looking good. Virat Kohli, uh, Rohit Sharma is in form, but uh, the other day made a duck, but that's uh, very too easy to, too um, uh, di difficult to read into anything like that. But Virat Kohli is a very consistent batsman. Rohit Sharma uh, also should uh, show what he's capable of. Shuresh Raina is another aggressive batsman for India who would like to really, really prove himself here against Pakistan tomorrow. Um, and uh, Mahindra Singh Dhoni himself is an aggressive captain, a very intelligent captain, and he knows what are the moves. He might have been scheming moves today, and Indian, the Indian think tank would be really working overtime today to see where exactly they have to come and hit Pakistan. Ravindra Jadeja is a uh, bits and pieces all around, has been doing well. Harbhajan Singh, the spinner, uh, would be another key because Harbhajan Singh is the uh, important spinner that India would be looking forward to get wickets and also stop the flow of runs. And Praveen Kumar has to swing the ball like a banana tomorrow against Pakistan. That would really organize. If there's going to be some overcast condition, Praveen Kumar would be very, very difficult to handle. Zahir Khan is a very chain baller. And Zahir Khan is one who's going to be doing the breakthrough. And he's also going to bowl after a long time to the Pakistani batsman. But that's going to be really interesting. Uh, whether Zahir Khan, if, if Zahir Khan could take his place with Pramin Kumar or Ashish Nair, that would be great. But well, Dinda, good luck to Dinda for doing well against Pakistan tomorrow. As far as the Pakistan team is concerned, Salman Butt always has done very well against India. There are two batsmen. Salman Butt has a good record against India. Shoaib Malik has a good record against India. And Shai Afridi is coming on on the heels of a century. He's the captain of the team and he loves to play the Indian uh, bowlers for sure. And well, that is something Salman Bhatt and Shazib Hussain. Shazib Hussain might be replaced by Imran Farhad. That is the news that I get here. But Shazib Hussain was struggling the other day. And I, I, could, I could agree with that because uh, they need someone experienced to face the Indian bowlers. Umar Amin is there in the bat. He is there with the Sachin Tendulkar bat. And Pakistan, Salman Bhatt and Shazib Hussain, who are the openers, would like to give a good start. And Umar Amin also would like to prove something here in this match. 
and Shai the Freedy for sure would like to do everything, whatever he could do with a bad ball and also on the field with his captaincy. And Umar Akmal is one that India is going to be finding it very difficult because Umar Akmal, according to me, is the rare talent coming in from Pakistan and pa Indian bowlers are going to find it very, very tough against Umar Akmal because he is absolutely a wonderful batsman to watch. He really flows, I would say. Kamran Akmal is the wicket keeper and he is also the man. Shoaib Malik is having a very good record against India. So that is going to be interesting. He has seven centuries in one day internationals against India. And Kamran Akmal, the wicket keeper, batsman, is also very, he's, he doesn't, he's not afraid going over the top and he's a very wonderful player. He has some very good strokes on the offside and the Indian batsmen, Indian bowlers would really find it difficult to stop him. Abdul Razak is the later order thrasher. He comes in and he also... Uh, can really really hit the mi ball miles into the, the so that is going to be interesting how our ballers are going to stop Abdul Razak Shoy Bakhtar has already talked he's going to go in full throttle tomorrow Mohamed Asif is going to swing the ball for sure and also Mohamed Amar I've already spoken about so dear cricket fans this mouth-watering clash the crunch clash tomorrow in the Asia Cup 2010 in the at the Rangiri Dambula International Stadium in Sri Lanka India versus Pakistan starting at local time 2.30 in Sri Lanka and it would be 4.30 in Canada. That's it dear cricket fans for cricket happenings and let's look forward to a mouth-watering clash tomorrow at the stadium at, at in the Asia Cup 2010 and I'll be back with a full match report tomorrow after the match ends. Until then it is Ram bidding good night on behalf of cricket happenings. Thank you.